Okay, so what is pumice? Well, this rock here is pumice. We found this on the beach at Westport. And this here is just another pebble found in the beach at Westport. It's not pumice. Now, this pebble is a little bit smaller than my bit of pumice. So if I weigh them, you expect the pumice to be heavier than the other pebble. But if we look in, I've got my pumice in the scale first. It is 27, 27 grams. And then if I pop my other wee pebble on, it's what, 64 grams. So it's more than twice the weight. So smaller, but twice the weight. Why is that? Well, pumice is formed when magma inside the crust erupts out of a volcano. And when that magma erupts out of the volcano, the gases that were held at high pressure within the molten rock start to expand. And as they're expanding, the molten rock is cooling down. And it cools down very rapidly so that these little bubbles that are formed as the gases expand are trapped inside the rock. So this rock, even though it's bigger than this one, weighs less and is less dense because of all the little pockets of air inside it. Okay. So we can show that very clearly by putting my pebble in the water and it pretty soundly falls to the bottom. But if I put my pumice in, it doesn't sink to the bottom. It's less dense than the water, so it floats on top. Okay, And even if I get a totty little piece of pumice, it floats. And all these other little bits of pumice that I've found on the beaches Ink and tire. Okay, even this big bit here is going to float. Okay, and as you can see, pumice comes in lots of different colours, typically just shades of grey, so light grey down to kind of nearly black. Okay, but we're floating. Um, and I've got another bit that I found a couple of weeks ago. We'll see if we can get this one to float. I'm going to need a bigger bowl.